Dear friends, greetings from YMCA Dubai. May I invite you to the chimes of peace, an ecumenical Christmas carol service organized by YMCA Dubai, which brings people from all denominations under one umbrella. What's Christmas after all? Many a time we think about Christmas cake, Christmas card, Christmas father, Christmas tree, and all the decorations. Of course, these all things set our mood for a bright Christmas. Christmas celebration means a celebration of life, life in its fullness. Life is a gift of God. Each child born to this world is special, no doubt. But Jesus was the most special baby, a baby who reflected the life in its fullness. A savior who came all the way from heaven, dwell among us. According to the great theologian Kusuke Koyama, God is not a walking God, God is a running God. He is running to save each one of us from the hideous grip of sin. His journey is from crib to cross. It gives us an inspiration to live always for others. So my dear friends, may I invite you to the Chimes of Peace 2009. Good evening, respected Achans, ladies and gentlemen. 
Winter night when world is in dark. A star was born in Bethlehem. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful star. Star, star, way up in the sky. Star, star, lead us to the light. The light, the real light. Light in the manger. Little baby boy, little baby boy, wrapped in ribbons and cradled in a manger. God's own son, sleeping stranger. My dear friends, who is the real light? Jesus Christ, the real light. A light symbol of peace. A journey from crib to the cross. May I request and draw your attention to the major prophet, the book of Isaiah chapter 9. Here it goes. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows, but now light is shining on them. The cry of a baby in a little manger. The soothing effect which we receive from the manger, the cry of baby in the manger. From crib to the cross of Calvary, a cry from the cross of Calvary. Inside the crib, we receive the message of peace. And on the cross of Calvary, we receive the message of peace. Let us begin our journey from crib to cross. Welcome, my dear friends, to the YMCA Chimes of Peace. YMCA Dubai welcomes you. May I request the audience to stand in reverence as we sing the national anthem of UAE and India. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Prayer is intended to be a spirited interaction between us and a living, loving being. The Almighty Lord with whom we have an intimate and growing relationship. May I invite our beloved Reverend Father Bijou P. Thomas, Vicar St. Thomas Orthodox Cathedral, Dubai, to lead us in opening prayer. Let us close our eyes for the introductory prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one true God. 
Glory be to him and may his grace and mercy be upon us forever. Amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Almighty, by whose glory the heaven and earth are filled Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come and is to come in the name of the Lord God. Glory be to him in the highest. Grant us, Lord God, that while our bodies rest from the labors of the day and our souls are released from worldly thoughts, we may offer you ceaseless praise and uninterrupted thanksgiving that we may acknowledge your loving kindness by which you direct and rule our lives and protect and save our souls. Almighty Lord and creator of humankind, forgive our ignorant and foolish ways. Take from our souls the stress and strain. And let us confess the beauty of your peace. Breathe through the heats of our desire, your coolness and your balm. May wild terrorism cease and the days of peace begin. Blessed be the Lord our God. He has confessed. He will fulfill. Strife shall cease. Peace will come. Justice shall reign. Joy will overflow. This terrorism wars and battles between ourselves First, start precisely in the disease fighting inside our own selves. In your hands, O Lord of all, we commend ourselves. Take us, break us if need be, then make us anew that in you we may be healed, restored, and united. Reach us your spirit that may guide our thoughts and direct our wills. Grant us wisdom to know what is right and power to do what is good. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come as the fire and burn. Come as the wind and cleanse. Come as the rain and soothe. Come as the light and reveal. Convict, convert, comfort. Consecrate us to do your will. O thou that art confessed, manifest, be thou manifest to us. From the unreal, lead us to real. From darkness, lead us to light. From death, lead us to immortality. And now, committing ourselves along with the whole of humanity into your loving hands, we would sum up our aspirations in the prayer saying, Thy will be done. Amen. Thank you, Achan, for prayer. On the glorious occasion when the United States of Emirates, celebrating its 38th National Day, we, the expatriates community, remembers with heart full of gratitude the rulers of this land for giving us ample freedom to worship and practice our faith. On behalf of the expatriate community, let me thank His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the President of UAE, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of UAE and the ruler of Dubai. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called the sons of God God is particularly pleased when we strive to create unity within the body of Christ. This is where the YMCA Dubai needs to be acknowledged for bringing people from different churches under one umbrella. This difference, in fact, is a secret of uh, harmony. This harmony leads us to a vision of one house. YMCA Dubai is affiliated to the National Council of YMCA of India, 
that is the part of the World Alliance of YMCAs. My dear friends, YMCA is a worldwide Christian ecumenical movement for women and men with special emphasis on the Christian ideal of building a human community of justice with love, peace, and reconciliation. For the fullness of life for all creation, spreading the message of peace. Henry Ford said, the harder you work, the luckier you get. The world is full of willing workers, some willing to work and the others willing to let them. Excellence is not luck. It is the result of hard work and practice. One such person who is hardworking and willing to take initiative is Mr. Sam Jacob, the General Secretary, YMCA Dubai. May I invite Mr. Sam Jacob to welcome the dignitaries and the distinguished guests. Good evening, friends. Honorable Chief Guest, respected vicars and priests, YMCA family members, choir groups, members of various churches from various countries. Excellence come when the performer takes pride in doing his best. The feeling of a job well done is a reward in itself. I am extremely delighted to be here on this beautiful evening for the great event, Chimes of Peace 2009. With your permission, let me start my assignment of welcoming our distinguished guest, Today, our chief guest, His Excellency, Mr. Babu Thomas, Consul of India, Dubai. On behalf of YMCA Dubai and this wonderful gathering, we welcome Mr. Babu Thomas on this program. May I invite Sneha Vogis to present the bouquet and may I request Abraham Vogis. May I request His Excellency, Mr. Babu Thomas, to be on the dice. Next, Reverend John Ware, a great orator, very pious and encouraging leader, great supporter, and an honorable member of YMCA Dubai. Let us welcome him for this program, Reverend John Ware. May I request Rachel Manoj, please present the bouquet. And may I request Solomon Tibbet, General Convener, to accompany Reverend John Ware on the dais. Next, Reverend V. Kunyugochi, Dubai Marthoma Church, Vikar. May I request Ardra Sajan to present the bouquet and Mr. Abhi Paulus to accompany Reverend Kunya Goshiachan. Please come to the dais. Next, Reverend Biju P. Thomas, St. Thomas Orthodox Cathedral, Vicar, Dubai. May I request Chippy Maria to present the bouquet and Shino George, the Vice President, please invite Biju P. Thomas on the dais. Next, Reverend K.G. Matthew, St. Thomas Evangelical Church of Dubai. Reverend K.G. Matthew. May I request Mr. Gerald Matthew to present the bouquet. Mr. P.G. Matthew, please accompany to the dais. Next, Reverend Father James Kulonara. May I request Mr. Georgie Bogan to present the bouquet. And Mr. Sergeant Velu, program convener, to accompany Reverend James George to the stage. Jesus. 
as a part of our official proceedings let us welcome our president mr manoj george to this program may i request mr kg matai the reception convener leaders and members of various choir groups they are the life of the program to praise our lord through singing let us welcome them at last but not least all priests ymc members and families leaders members and families from various churches and groups program supporters sponsors ladies and gentlemen dear children let me welcome you all in the behalf of ymca dubai god bless you thank you i request the dear ones let's give them a big hand please come on ancient wisdom says anything that is brought on sold has no value unless it contains a secret priceless ingredient that cannot be traded what is it the secret priceless ingredient of every product is the credibility the honor and integrity of one who makes it such priceless jewel among us his excellency babu and thomas the vice council he is with us let us welcome babu thomas and all the dignitaries may i request his excellency babu thomas to light the lamp and all the invited guests to do that May I request the distinguished guests, His Excellency Babu and Thomas, to deliver inaugural message. The inaugural message. Respected organizers of YMCA Dubai, the most eminent reverends, the spiritual leaders, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen, at the very onset. I would like to give all the honor and glory to God Almighty. I would like to stand with St. Paul to say that our God is a God who is the only potentate, the immortal God, the invisible God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and a God who is living in the most unapproachable light whom no one has seen and nor can see. And we give him all the glory and honor for ever and ever tonight. I'm ecstatically delighted and deeply elated to be here tonight to participate in this most auspicious occasion. On behalf of His Excellency, Mr. Venu Rajamani, the Consul General of the Indian Consulate in Dubai, I would like to convey my heart, heartfelt felicitations and congratulations to the organizers of this wonderful program tonight. His Excellency Mr. Rajamani is a bit preoccupied and so he has asked me to represent the Indian Consulate in this beautiful program tonight. As I speak tonight, I just want to convey a, a, an important message on account of the 38th anniversary of the 
independence of this great nation, the United Arab Emirates, let us all jointly thank the leaders of this great country, this great nation, for the freedom of worship that they have granted us. Let us continue to pray for these great leaders, for their good health, their strength, and for their continued assistance to us in all aspects as we live in this country. The leaders of this nation are indeed very much large-hearted, benevolent, kind, and magnanimous to all of us. Let us pray for them unceasingly. It's a matter of great pleasure to observe that the YMCA Dubai is actively involved in providing tangible support to the needy in the society and for being a movement that is empowering the society throughout the world. We assure you on our word of honor that the Indian Consulate will continue to give our tacit support to the YMCA